All right, so now we're going to complete the level four, um, and we're going to use the following uh, three equations here to compute the values below. So we're always going to refer back up to these three except for number nine. All right, so number one, we want f of x plus one. So this x plus one is what we are going to substitute in for x in the f of x function. So I'm going to have a two times the x plus one. Notice how I'm putting it in parentheses. And then I have that minus one on the outside. Now I'm going to distribute the two in. So I have a two x plus a two and then minus a one. And then I combine like terms to get my final expression, which is a two x plus a one. Moving on to the next one, I want g of 3a plus 2. So that means I'm going to take the 3a plus 2 and put it in for x in my g of x function. So I have a negative 3, and then now I'm going to put that 3a plus 2 in for x. And notice I'm putting it in parentheses because I'm substituting it in for x. And now I'm going to distribute that negative 3 in. So I have a negative 9a minus a 6, and nothing can be combined there, so that is just your answer. All right, and number 3 says h of x minus 2. So I'm going to put this x minus 2 in for x in my h of x function. So I have an x minus a 2 squared plus a 1. Now an x minus a 2 squared, I do need to write, rewrite it as an x minus a 2 times an x minus a 2, and now we're going to FOIL. So FOILing this out, first terms, an x times an x is an x squared. Outer terms, an x times a minus 2 is a minus 2x. Inner terms, a negative 2 times an x is another minus 2x. And last terms, a negative 2 times a negative 2 is a plus 4. And then don't forget we have this plus 1 on the outside. So now we're going to combine like terms. So I have an x squared minus a 4x and then plus a 5. And that's it. I can't combine anything after that. All right, moving on to number 4. This time I want f of g of 2x plus 4. So essentially what that means is we're going to do g of 2x plus 4 first. So essentially this is the same as saying f of g of 2x plus 4. Those two things mean the same thing. So I'm going to first start off with putting the 2x plus 4 into my g of x function, which was negative 3 times x. So I'm going to have a negative 3, and now I'm going to put that 2x plus 4 in for x. And now I'm going to simplify that by distributing the negative 3 in. Now that cannot be simplified. But g of x, or g of that 2x plus 4, equaled the negative 6x minus 12. So that's going to replace the g of 2x plus 4. And now I want to find f of negative 6x minus 12. So I'm going to put negative 6x minus 12 in 4x in my f of x function. So now I have a 2 times that negative 6x minus 12. And then I have a minus 1 on the outside. So distributing that 2 in... I have a negative 12x minus a 24 minus a 1. Combining like terms, I wind up with a negative 12x minus a 25. All right. Now I want g of b plus c. So what that means is I'm going to take my b plus c and I'm going to put it in for x in my g of x function. So I have a negative 3 times the b plus c. And now I'm going to distribute. 
distributing the negative 3n. I have a negative 3b minus a 3c, and nothing can be done with that, so that's just how your answer remains. All right, number six, a little more complicated because I want f of h of g of negative 2x. So I'm going to start with the innermost parentheses first, and I'm going to find g of negative 2x by putting negative 2x in for x in my g of x function. So I have a negative 3 times this negative 2x. Well, that is a positive 6x. So I'm going to replace the g of 2x with a 6x. So now I want h of 6x, which means I'm going to be putting 6x in for x in my h of x function. So I have a 6x squared like this plus a 1. Well, a 6x squared, I need to square both the 6 and the x, so that's a 36x squared. And then I have this plus 1 on the outside. There's nothing that can be done with that. I cannot simplify that. So now I'm going to replace this h of 6x. I'm going to replace the h, or the 6x, with the 36x squared plus 1. And now I'm going to have an f of... 36x squared plus 1. That's the last step. That's what I'm trying to find. So I'm going to put 36x squared plus 1 in for x in my f of x function. So I have a 2 times a 36x squared plus a 1. And then I have minus 1 from my f of x function. Distributing that 2 into parentheses, I have a 72x squared plus a 2 minus a 1. Combining like terms, I wind up with a 72x squared plus a 1 as my final answer. All right, moving on to number 7. This number 7 is a little complicated. So what we want to do here is we want to put x into our h of x function. And then we want to add 1 on the outside of my h of x function. So I'm going to rewrite my h of x function down here. So I have an h of x is equal to an x squared plus a one, uh, 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put x in for x in my h of x function. And I'm going to rewrite my h of x function after putting that x in. And then I'm going to add 1 to the outside of my h of x function. So essentially, I just have an x squared plus 1 plus another 1. So combining like terms, I wind up with an x squared plus a 2. And that's it. Now number 8, I have a negative f of, ne of 2x plus 3 minus 1. So let me rewrite my f of x function so I can easily show you this. So your f of x function is f of x is equal to a 2x minus a 1. So essentially what they want you to do is they want a negative and then they want you to put this 2x plus 3 in for x in your f of x function, but we're going to keep parentheses around your f of x function. And that x, f of x function includes this minus 1. And then they want you to subtract 1 on the outside of your f of x function, like so. So, starting with the innermost parentheses, I'm going to distribute this 2 in. So I have a negative 4x plus a 6 minus a 1, and then a minus 1 on the outside. Now I'm going to be distributing this minus in. 
So I have a negative 4x minus a 6 plus a 1, and then this minus 1 on the outside. And now I'm going to combine like terms. So I really have a negative 4x minus a 6 as my answer. All right, and then lastly, number 9, we're not going to use any of these functions up above because it says we are going to evaluate k of 5 minus t for the k of t function. So what they want you to do there is they want you to put 5 minus t in for all the t's in this k of t function. So I have the square root of 5 minus t squared minus a 10 times a 5 minus t plus a 25. Now, um, a 5 minus t squared, I will have to rewrite that. So I'm going to write this as the square root of a 5 minus a t times a 5 minus a t and now I'm just going to rewrite the rest of everything. So minus a 10 times a 5 minus a t, and plus a 25. All right, we're ready to get started. First step, we are going to FOIL within my square root. So a 5 times a 5 is a 25. A 5 times a minus t is a minus 5t. A negative t times a 5 is another minus 5t. And a negative t times a negative t turns into a plus t squared. Distributing this negative 10 in, a negative 10 times a 5 gives us a minus 50. And a negative 10 times a minus t gives us a plus 10t. And then I have this plus 25. Combining like terms. I have a 25 minus a 50 plus a 25. Those cancel out. I have a negative 5t minus a 5t plus a 10t. Those also cancel out. So I really just have the square root of t squared, which we've done the square root of a variable squared before. The square root of a variable squared is just that variable. So your answer is just square root of t squared is t. And that is it. That brings us to the end of this lesson.